Steaticum is a brand of camera stabilizer mount for motion picture cameras that mechanically isolates it from the operator's movement. It allows for a smooth shot, even when moving quickly over an uneven surface. The Steaticum was invented by cameraman Garrett Brown and was introduced in 1975. History Before the camera stabilizing system, a director had two choices for moving shots, the camera could be mounted on a camera dolly, a wheeled mount that rolls on tracks or leveled boards. This is time consuming to set up, and depending on the location, impractical in many situations. The camera operator could hold the camera in his hands. This allows greater speed and flexibility, but even the most skilled operator cannot entirely prevent shaking. Handheld camera footage has traditionally been considered suitable mostly for documentaries, news, reportage work, live action, unrehearsable footage, or to evoke an atmosphere of authentic immediacy or sign a copyright marva copyright reader copyright during dramatic sequences. While these cinematic techniques are still common, the steaticum has added another dimension to motion picture cinematography and videography. A steaticum essentially combines the stabilized steady footage of a conventional tripod mount with the fluid motion of a dolly shot and the flexibility of handheld camera work. While smoothly following the operator's broad movements, the steaticum's armature absorbs jerks, bumps, and shakes. The steaticum was introduced to the industry in 1975 by inventor and cameraman Garrett Brown, who originally named the invention the Brown Stabilizer. After completing the first working prototype, Brown shot a 10-minute demo reel of the revolutionary moves this new device could produce. This reel was seen by numerous directors, including Stanley Kubrick and John G. Avildsen. The Steaticum was subsequently licensed to and manufactured by Cinema Products Corporation, which later diversified the brand into a consumer line for DV cameras. The Steaticum was first used in the Best Picture Euro nominated Woody Guthrie biopic Bound for Glory, debuting with a shot that compounded the Steaticum's innovation. Cinematographer Haskell Wexler had Brown start the shot on a fully elevated platform crane which jibbed down, and when it reached the ground, Brown stepped off and walked the camera through the set. This technically audacious and previously impossible shot created considerable interest in how it had been accomplished, and impressed the Academy enough for Wexler to win the Oscar for Best Cinematography that year. It was then used in extensive running and chase scenes on the streets of New York City in Marathon Man, which was actually released two months before Bound for Glory. It landed a notable third credit in Avildsen's Best Picture Euro winning Rocky, where it was an integral part of the film's Philadelphia street jogging training sequences and the run up the art museum's flight of stairs, as well as the fight scenes. Garrett Brown was the steaticum operator on all of these. The Shining pushed Brown's innovations even further, when director Stanley Kubrick requested that the camera shoot from barely above the floor. This prompted the innovation of a low-mode bracket to mount the top of a camera to the bottom of an inverted post, which substantially increased the creative angles of the system, which previously could not go much lower than the operator's waist height. This low-mode concept remains the most important extension to the system since its inception. A steaticum rig was also employed during the filming of Return of the Jedi, in conjunction with two gyroscopes for extra stabilization, to film the background plates for the speed of bike chase. Brown walked through a redwood forest, with the camera running at a speed of one frame per second. The end result, when projected at 24 frames per second, gave the impression of flying through the air at perilous speeds. In the Michael Crichton film Runaway, a steaticum rig was used to simulate the point of view of a futuristic smart bullet in flight while targeting specific individuals by their heat signature. Description The operator wears a harness a euro the steaticum vest a euro, which is attached to an isoelastic arm. This is connected by a multi-axis and ultra-low friction gimbal to the steaticum armature which has the camera mounted at one end and a counterbalance way to the other. The counterbalance usually includes the battery pack and a monitor. The monitor substitutes for the camera's viewfinder, since the range of motion of the camera relative to the operator makes the camera's own viewfinder unusable. In the film industry the armature and weight are traditionally called the sled, as they resembled a sled in an early model of the steaticum. The sled includes the top stage, 
where the camera is attached, the post, which in most models can be extended, with the monitor and batteries at the bottom to counterbalance the camera weight. This is how the steaticum stays upright, by simply making the bottom slightly heavier than the top, pivoting at the gimbal. This leaves the center of gravity of the whole rig, however heavy it may be, exactly at the operator's fingertip, allowing deft and finite control of the whole system with the lightest of touches on the gimbal. The skill of the operator is to keep the desired framing and composition by feathering his touch on the gimbal, while the rig and operator is in motion, and, indeed, when still. The combined weight of the counterbalance and camera means that the armature bears a relatively high inertial mass which is not easily moved by small body movements from the operator. The freely pivoting armature adds additional stabilization to the photographed image, and makes the weight of the camera sled assembly acceptable by allowing the body harness to support it. When the armature is correctly adjusted, the operator is able to remove his hands from the steadicum entirely and have the camera stay in place. During operation, the operator usually rests his hand on the camera gimbal and applies force at that point to move the camera. To avoid shaking the camera when lens adjustments must be made during the shot, a wireless remote operated by the camera assistant is used to control focus and iris. For low angle shots, the camera sled armature can be rotated vertically, putting the camera on the bottom, and the sled on the top. This is referred to as low mode operation. The newest generation is the Tango. The most modern body supported camera stabilization system, its horizontal mechanism makes it possible to move the camera freely while staying horizontal. A steadicum operator can change from low mode to high mode without any alteration. Dimensions are not limited to ups and downs, but also in depth and over or through obstacles. The smallest, lightest steadicum which can be used with a support arm and vest is the steadicum Merlin. It is light enough to be handheld with cameras weighing up to about 5.5 pounds, and may carry cameras up to about 7 pounds when used with the arm. The Merlin may be folded up and carried in comparatively small spaces such as medium-sized camera bags. In its lightest configuration, the Merlin weighs just 12.5 ounces. Photographers who shoot with HDSLR cameras that combine still and motion photography most often work with the Merlin. Since the Merlin is no facility to carry a separate monitor, cameras suitable for it must have their own built-in monitors. A smaller, lighter steadicum was introduced in 2012, called the Smoothie. Its tubular frame can support Apple iPhones along with GoPro cameras that have the attached viewfinder monitor. Its target retail price was originally under $200, and it may be purchased in consumer camera stores. Pre-weighted, balanced iPhone and GoPro adapters modularly allow interchange of cameras. An even smaller, camera-specific steadicum curve is available for the GoPro cameras which is made of a single, curved slash of aluminum. Its target retail price is just $100, and it too, is available in consumer camera outlets. See also References External links, GarrettBrown.com, Inventor's Official Website, Steadicum.com, Products Official Website, Steadicum Posture, Steadicum, The Early Years of Euro Enzo Jeep and the Model 1, Steadicum Guild Life Achievement Award, OPA Copyright Retour Steadicum Slash Steadicum or Envida Copyright O's.